Hi guys, Mimi G here. Today we're going to be doing a sew along to my latest PDF pattern, the Annie. It's a quick and easy cardigan PDF pattern, which you can get following the link in the description box below. Also, there are a ton of pics because I've already done two blog posts on different variations of that cardigan, which you can also find in the link below. Let's get started. Okay, so you should have printed and taped together your pattern and then cut your pattern pieces out. So you should have your body hem, which you are cutting on the fold. And I have cut one on the fold. You should have your sleeve, which you're going to be cutting out two of. And I have cut my sleeves. You're going to cut out your pocket pattern and you're going to be cutting out two. You're also going to be cutting out your cuff for your sleeve, so you're going to be cutting out two. You're going to be cutting out your front band and you're cutting out two. So I have both of mine here. Then you're going to cut out your front body and you're obviously going to cut out two. And then you're going to cut out the back of your uh, cardigan and you're going to be cutting out one on the fold. Now that you have all of your pattern pieces cut out of your fabric, we can start sewing. Now here's a quick tip, if you want to make this cardigan longer, let's say you want it to your calf or you want it all the way down to your ankles, however long you want it, you're just going to add the length here. So if you wanted to add, let's say, five inches, then you're going to measure down from the hem five inches and you're going to add that. Make sure that you also add it to the front pieces and also add it to your band. Okay, we're going to start by grabbing the back. You're going to open it up so that the right side is facing up and you're going to place your front pieces, right sides facing, and we're going to pin at the shoulder. So you're going to match your shoulder, you're going to pin, and you're going to match your other shoulder. And you're going to pin. Now go ahead and go to your sewing machine and stitch across the top using half inch seam allowance. Okay, now that you have attached front to back at the shoulders, go ahead and press your seams and make sure that you have marked where your pocket placement is. We're going to go ahead and work on our pockets. I'm going to set this aside for just a second. Go ahead and grab your pockets and with the right side facing up, you're going to fold down one inch. We're going to pin. And now I want you to go to the sewing machine and you're going to stitch using half inch seam allowance all the way down and across the bottom. We're stitching this down, but then creating a stitching line half inch across the bottom and across the sides so that you fold exactly where you need to. Okay, you're gonna start at the top. You're going to sew using half inch seam allowance, back stitch at the beginning and at the end. You're going to do the same thing to your other pocket. I've gone ahead and pressed to the inside the half inch along the sides and along the bottom and I pressed my top and now we're going to go ahead and pin this to the front. So working just on the front, you're going to align it along your marking. You should have marked where your pocket placement was and you're going to go ahead and pin. Now you're going to go back to your sewing machine and you're going to edge stitch along the edge, down the side, along the bottom, and up the top. Okay, now sewing close to the edge, I'm going to stitch and back stitch. You're going to stitch down your other pocket the same way. Okay, 
once you've stitched down both of your pockets, we can go ahead and attach our sleeve. So we're going to attach it flat before we sew up our side seam. So go ahead and grab your sleeve. And you're going to pin with right sides facing. So first, make sure you align your shoulder. And then you're going to make sure that the front of your sleeve is matching up to the front of your sweater. pivot over to the other side and now we're going to go ahead and stitch using half inch seam allowance along the entire arms eye you're going to back stitch at the beginning and at the end Finish off any raw edges and attach your other sleeve the same way. Okay, once you have your sleeves in, we can go ahead and pin the entire side seam and then down the sleeve as well. Match your underarm seams. And then continue pinning down your sleeve. You're going to pin your other side seam and sleeve the same way and then you're going to sew using a half inch seam allowance starting at the bottom all the way up through the underarm and down the sleeve. You're going to do that for both sides. Okay, once you have your side seam sewn, turn your cardigan right side out. It should start looking now like a cardigan. And we're going to go ahead and work on our bottom band. So go ahead and get that piece that you cut on the fold. That's the hem of the cardigan. And what we're going to do is you're going to fold it in half and you're going to press it. So go ahead, take this to your ironing table, fold it in half with wrong sides facing and give it a good press. Okay, now we're going to pin the band to the bottom of our cardigan. So we're going to place the raw edges together. I'm going to make sure that my front is flushed and you're going to pin. Okay, now we're going to go ahead to the sewing machine and you're going to stitch across the bottom using a half inch seam allowance. Okay, we're going to back stitch at the beginning and at the end. Okay, now go ahead and press your seam allowances up towards your sweater. Okay, now that we have attached the band to our cardigan, we're going to go ahead and do our cuffs. So what you're going to do is with right sides facing, you're going to stitch using half inch seam allowance. You're going to do that for both of your cuffs. Okay, to form your cuff, go ahead and press your seams flat, fold it in half, holding your seam allowances, and turn to the right side. Now we're going to go ahead and pin this to our sleeves. So I'm just going to slip this inside of my sleeve, making sure that I'm aligning my underarm seam with the seam on my cuff. You're going to pin and you're going to be stretching a bit, right? Because your cuff is smaller than the opening of your sleeve. So just pull and pin so you can do it evenly. And then pull and pin again. And you're going to be pulling a little bit as you're sewing as well. 
Okay, go ahead and pin your other cuff the same way. Then we're going to go to the sewing machine and we're going to stitch all the way around using half inch seam allowance. Okay, we're going to go ahead and stitch all the way around using half inch seam allowances, making sure to back stitch at the beginning and at the end. You're going to do your other cuff the same way. Now that you have both of your cuffs attached to your sleeves, we can start working on the front band. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to grab your band pieces and we're going to join them at one end. So with right sides facing, go ahead and stitch using a half inch seam allowance. Okay, once you have the center back pressed open, your seams pressed open, we're going to go ahead and finish off the bottom edge. So what I want you to do is I want you to fold right sides facing and across the bottom you're going to stitch using a quarter inch seam allowance. Then you're going to do the same thing to the other end. Fold it in half so right sides are facing. Stitch across the bottom using half, a quarter inch, sorry, a quarter inch seam allowance. Okay, now you're going to go ahead and you're going to turn this to the right side so the bottom is now finished. You're going to fold and press the entire band until you reach the other end. You're going to turn that right side out and then again continue pressing until the entire band is pressed in half. Okay, so I'm going to take my band and I'm going to pin first at the center back. So I have a center back seam on my band and I'm going to find the center back of my cardigan and I'm going to pin there first. And then I'm going to go all the way down one side and I'm going to pin making sure that the finished edge making sure that the finished edge of my band is flushed with the bottom of my hem and I'm going to pin there. Now I'm going to continue pinning the rest of my band. You're going to continue pinning until your entire band is pinned onto your cardigan. Okay, now we're going to go to the sewing machine and we're going to stitch all the way from the center back down one end and then the center back down the other end using a quarter inch seam allowance. Okay, starting at the center back, I'm going to back stitch. Now starting at the center back again, work your way down the other side. Once you're done attaching your band, give it one final good press and the only thing left for you to do is to make the buttonholes and attach your buttons. Now you're going to need to follow the instruction manual for your particular sewing machine if you don't know how to make buttonholes, but go ahead and mark them off, make your buttonholes and then hand sew your buttons and you are all done. Well, I hope you enjoyed that so long. Make sure and follow me on Instagram at Mimiju Style and tag me in all of your projects. Until next time, peace.